I'm hey, sorry. you know what? Get the hell out of here if you don't like this kind of preaching. What? Then get the hell out of my church. I'm the man of God here. I meet the qualifications. I run this church. You know, I don't believe in a young earth. And then the big dumb animal, Keith Gomez, just sits there and listens to him preach this. Steven Anderson is the epitome and embodiment of hypocrisy and contradiction, okay? James chapter 1 verse number 8 says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. And that is perfectly a description of Steven Anderson. It describes him perfectly, I'll put it that way. And you're going to see just Steven Anderson blatantly and openly and completely 100% contradicting himself in uh, two different statements he would make in two different sermons. It's almost like he forgets his past statements even though it's blatantly the opposite of what he would say in a, a second statement. What do I mean by that? Well, let's go to the clips. In this first clip I'm going to show, he is contradicting himself on Calvinism, this church's policy on Calvinism, he is ranting about how he's not going to allow, and by the way, Calvinism is a heresy, I'll put it that way. I mean, I, I've done lots of videos exposing Calvinism. Calvinism is a false doctrine, it's a heresy, and it attacks the character and righteousness of God, okay? So I don't disagree with him on his stance on the heresy of Calvinism. However, he's contradicting himself, and, and one breath says Calvinists are never allowed in the church, but then later he partners with a Calvinist to work on his film, and also says that Calvinists love his preaching. Check this out. And to come unto the knowledge of the truth. Amen. And you know what? These bunch of Calvinists, they make me sick. Somebody has walked up to me at that meeting who was a first time visitor and said, I'm a Calvinist who loves your preaching and that's why I'm here. Amen. I hate their doctrine. Right. I hate their preaching. Amen. It's wicked. It perverts scripture. It perverts the Bible. They are my enemies until the day that I die. Somebody has walked up to me at that meeting who was a first-time visitor and said, I'm a Calvinist who loves your preaching, and that's why I'm here. Amen. They're the enemies of all righteousness. They're the enemies of the gospel. And I don't care if they call themselves Baptist or a Reformed Baptist. I don't care what they call themselves. They will never have any fellowship with this preacher right here. I want nothing to do with them until Jesus comes. Amen. Nothing to do with them. Somebody has walked up to me at that meeting who was a first-time visitor and said, I'm a Calvinist who loves your preaching, and that's why I'm here. And that isn't all. I've shown this clip in other videos, but I'll show it again. Here is Anderson openly contradicting himself on the work performance of Tyler Baker, his former deacon, who was fired back in 2017. Okay, he's blatantly contradicting himself. In one clip, he says, he essentially is, he's listing off how bad Tyler Baker was all the times he was really bad, but then later contradicts himself and says, I didn't know he was bad. You know, watch, watch this. And I, you know, I, I tried to, to work on him and try to motivate him and get him to work harder and tried to fix it, chewed him out a few times, you know, trying to get him to work harder. But, you know, his work performance was at about a C minus. I'm not sitting here saying, and I've never said, oh, I knew he was bad all along. But, you know, his work performance was at about a C minus. I'm not sitting here saying, and I've never said, oh, I knew he was bad all along. And ever since we hired some other people on staff, you know, Brother brother Chris Segura, Brother Garrett Kirschway, his work performance has gone from a C minus to an F. That would be a weird story, because if I knew he was bad all along, why would I have hired him? Why would I have had him preach? Why would I have sent him all these places? It's because I didn't know he was bad. His work performance has gone from a C minus to an F. It's because I didn't know he was bad. His work performance has gone from a C minus to an F. That is what you call unstable in all your ways, James 1.8. That's pretty much T.V. Anderson in a nutshell, blatantly contradicting himself. Tyler Baker was bad, he was a bad worker, he was a, a, a D minus, but then later, I didn't know he was bad. So which is it, Stephen? You know, Calvinists are never welcome in the church. Oh, Calvinists actually love my preaching, you know. And, and they come up to him and to, to uh, tell him that, which means they would have to be in the church building where he's preaching for them to come up to them and tell them that. You know, tell them that they love his preaching. And why would a Calvinist love the preaching of Stephen Anderson, you know? I mean, Calvinists certainly don't, don't like my videos. I've done lots of videos exposing Calvinism, and I've gotten all their, their comments that show the fruit, the ungodly fruit of Calvinism, which is rather ironic since the new IFB displays a lot of the same bitterness of Calvinism. But a bit of a side note. But yeah, that's T.V. Anderson, the epitome and embodiment of hypocrisy and contradiction. So, wanted to point that out. Don't be deceived by Stephen Anderson's new IFB cult. I was part of it for about two years and obviously left after seeing the truth that it's a cult.
and that it's the, the Pope is Stephen Anderson. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be, be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.